What's going on everyone? Juicebags here and welcome to a Dungeon Defenders 2 Beginner's Guide and Tutorial Series. This series will be in really no specific order as new topics will come up, but I will try to get it organized after release into a much more complete and timely playlist. As changes take place between now and release, I will do my best to update this series and make sure that the playlist is always current. This series will be played on the PC, however most of these topics will very easily transfer over to the PS4 with just a few different controls. If there's anything at all that you'd like more information on, or something that you struggled with as a beginner, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to make it a topic in this series. Without further ado, let's get started. A lot of time, new builders in Dungeon Defenders 2 will wonder why their build works sometimes and doesn't work other times. And one of the reasons why is just the lanes can vary every single run. Now there's a few different ways this happens. Uh, sometimes a set group of mobs will come out of a particular lane, like here for example. We've got three lanes, Little Horn Way, the Bridge Lane, and the Market Path. And these are color coded, so we see this flashing red lane is supposed to be the most difficult lane, then the bridge, and then the market path being the easiest. Now we also see a number there, which is the mob count. It's the amount of mobs that are going to come out of that lane. So the market path is going to have 56, the bridge lane is going to have 59, and Little Horn Way is going to have 150. Now the very next time I do this mat, the 150 uh, mob lane that's the most difficult could very well be over here at the market path and it's going to change every time you do the map now another important thing to remember is not only do we know the mob counts coming out of a particular lane but each lane is going to have buffs on it in this particular case with little horn way it has the healthy buff and the mighty buff so all of the baddies that are coming down this lane are going to have 35 percent increased health and they're going to hit for 35% harder than the normal mobs would out of one of these other lanes. Uh, here we see this lane's got Tenacious and Grounded. So these mobs are going to have some crowd, con crowd control resistance. And they're not going to be able to get knocked up. So those geyser traps are not going to be effective for you. And then here of course we see Troll Blood and Tenacious. And then Troll Blood of course means all the mobs coming down here are going to have a little heal going for 150 HP per second. So uh, all these mobs are naturally going to get healed as they run down. It's really important to take a look at these different lane buffs and lane counts when you're building a map, as although the current meta allows for a lot of trap spam, in the future that probably won't be the case, and it wasn't the case in the past. So you're going to have to look at your lanes and decide how to build each one. Uh, if you have a lane, for example, that is grounded and can't be knocked up, then we know putting a mystic wall down here or a geyser trap is not going to be effective. Where if we just see that this particular lane with the flashing red bar is a dead giveaway, this lane is going to require some hero damage on it right out of the gates. Hope this helps everyone out. Thanks again. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click that like button and mash this big J over here to subscribe to the channel. Thanks again. We'll see you soon.